it's chicken butchering day today and we're gonna get ready to start I'll kind of walk you through the process we have our chickens over here there's multiple locations but this is the biggest one as you can see the chicken tractor one of them I have four of them we have about 119 chickens to do today and so they've been in there since they were old enough to get out of the brooder and uh, they've been in there and then when we take them we bring them over to the killing cones over here and this is where we uh, put little slits in the sides of their neck and then put them in these cones upside down and that drains the blood out which is also a very humane way to kill them as well as it drains the blood out so you get a better meat because all that blood is not in the meat all right so from there we bring them over here and I probably could set this up a little bit more efficiently but this is the way we've always done it I mean, you know how that goes the way we've always done it anyway so we put them in this scalding tank which I've built using two water heater elements and a thermostat which I'll show you there you can see the thermostat and I run it at about between 145 and 160 degrees depending on how fast we're doing the chickens and the water temperature goes up and down but and that's why I installed two of the heating elements I only had one in it originally and it wasn't able to keep up with the temperature so I put two in it seems to help a little bit and so anyway that's the next step and then here is my whiz bang chicken plucker that I built from the instructions I bought online and it's a really neat device has the uh, fingers in there so you take the bird from there you put it over in here turn it on what I generally do is take two birds at a time and I lay them on their backs and I let the fingers start to pluck at the feathers off their back first for just a second or two and then I let them go and then they tumble around and they knock each other into the into the fingers and then they pulls the the feathers off it usually takes if you have the temperature right and you have the birds prepped right it only takes like maybe a minute at the most maybe two depending on the bird to get them completely plucked and then after that we take them over to our eviscerating, 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 however you say that. It's where you take the insides out. And we take them over to this table over here. And we'll have two people there working on that. And then as soon as that part is done, I will have this garbage can and this cooler filled with cold, cold water. And then we will put them in there and let the temperature cool down and then uh, my wife and one of her friends come and get them as they need them. They take them inside, finish washing them, cleaning them, maybe plucking any of the pin feathers that we missed, and then put them in our uh, vacuum bags. Actually, we use the bags where you put them in the bag and then you put it in hot water and it seals it. Um, really good, does a really good job. And then from there, we basically put them in our refrigerator for 24 hours to let the temperature go down in the bird and then they go in the freezer. So that's kind of the process. If I get a chance, we will uh, take you some video while we're actually doing it and let you see how we do it. But that's kind of our setup and so we'll get back to you and let you know uh, what, uh, what goes on and how it goes. So thanks for watching Midwest Homesteading.